Hello, my loves. Um, I'm still, I still have my nails on. I know, amazing, right? I didn't take them off. <laughs> right, quickly before I start this video, I'm going to show you some designs that we created this week in my online crystal placement class. The class is still available. It's still on the website. And I'm going to talk you through step by step creating these different designs and you get all my little secrets on how to make things work because what you see on YouTube isn't everything you get like there's so much more so yeah that's on the website that's available it's very beautiful very beautiful designs and the students so far have been amazing so you do get a certificate for that as well anyway on to the next thing Madam Glam has sent me a box of shizzle so I'm going to show you what I've got now I'm going to move this collection over to the side. I'm going to show you all these minis. So we have a neon collection in the mini bottles. These are awesome if you are a mobile tech, if you are a hobbyist or a home user, because you don't have to go and buy the full size, do you? You can have all those colours in small sizes. They're perfect. I find them really, really useful because I just do designs. So I'll often buy colors or use colors for a design and i might only use them once or twice in a year and so having a smaller bottle is way more um, economic financially if you know what i'm saying um there's a discount code to save 30 percent on an order that code is sarah b30 but it will be in the description box so don't worry about it if you forget just go to the description box there'll be a link to the website and the code um i'm just showing you them all here obviously they're super neon, like, there's no doubt about that. I've used these before in designs, so, because I had the full sizes. But they've still got the creaminess, so you're not losing that creaminess that you get with Madame Glam gels, but they are really neon, <laughs> really neon. Sometimes it makes the camera go funny, because they're so bright. And when you put them under, like, UV light, they glow. It's so cool. They're like, pow, straight in the face. On top of that, I also have the Purity Bundle to show you. These gels are so beautiful and they're kind of sheer. And I've seen this, so I'm just going to run through the names and show you them quickly. You can read the names and have a look. But if you look at them, they're sheer, but they have that nude pigment. Now, I've seen a lot of this trending right now where you've got that nude look, but not solid. And then you've got some hand painted art over the top. I've seen it a lot on Instagram and I'm loving that vibe. This is kind of the more pinky of the nudes. I'm gonna do two coats just to show you, but you can see that sheer beautiful, you know, like those tights you wear, it's like that. Very elegant. They'd be so good for clients that um, want pretty nails, but don't wanna go crazy with it, or they'd actually work really well underneath like lace. Mm, beautiful. Okay, so that's the first shade. We're gonna get on and swatch the rest of these. As you can see, this one's kind of more like a honey, a honey nude, I guess. Okay, next up we've got Pearly, which is the palest of them. Very beautiful, really, really. They're all really gorgeous. Here we are. I'll let you watch this. And as 
And then we have Simplicity, which I say is like a caramelly, again, honey, caramel, that kind of vibe. It's just a warmer shade. It's really beautiful. So taking these colours into account and some almond shape press on tips that I've got, I am going to have a little fun. So we're going to use flirty and I'm actually going to do three layers because I want a little bit more coverage. I'm then going to take a couple of these beautiful gels in neon. I can't remember the names of them. I think one's like Bahama Mama. I can't remember them. I thought I'd uh, shown you, but anyway, long fine liner from Madame Glam. And I'm going to do this weird smile line thing that's going around. It's like the half line. I don't know what it's called, but anyway, I'm doing it. <laughs> we're, we're doing it guys we're going in so I'm just going to build it up there and drag that gel through I could have probably gotten away with using my uh, slightly shorter brush but I didn't so there you go and then we're going to pull that line down but I'm actually going to use the orange which is Bahama Mama I think I'm going to use that to drag the line down to the tip of the nail so that the two ombre, these two blend really easily together. They work really well together, so it's super easy to do. I'll just take uh, a gel brush with some isopropyl alcohol and tidy up around here. And then I'll go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds. With you, but if we try to talk about it, our history says we'll just argue. And I know you're gonna act a fool. And then no one could tell the difference. Pop on a layer of matte top coat initially, and then we'll give it a cure. some crystals from the fruit slushy mix now this mix is actually going to be in the June box um, because when I looked at what we were planning for the June box this this mix already that we we just got in stock on the website was just like banging it was totally yes so that's what we're doing um, and I'm just gonna cut pinch a couple like that the bonus is that this bot this mix is actually 1440 crystals so your June box is going to be properly bursting with bling, like, wow. <laughs> okay, so that's that done. We're now going to go in with gloss top coat. 
do a layer and cure it. And then we're gonna to top coat again just over the lines that we've drawn. And the reason I'm just going over these lines is because we are going to sugar it with some beautiful glitter and that really, really gives it that cocktail vibe. You know, like you have cocktails full of crushed ice and those gorgeous colors. And so this is um, our frosty morning glitter that we released at Christmas time. Um, we'll pop that in and cure it. So you've got the fruit slushy crystals. You've got like the cocktail slushy vibe with the lime. Do you see where I'm going with this, right? That's the first nail done. It's done in. Let's move on to the next nail. We're going to do an ombre using Bahama Mama and Limoncello. And this was a hard ombre, guys. These two colours I found tricky to ombre because they are so far apart. You'd think they'd work quite well, but no, they are hard. Um, and it's nothing to do with like the gel polish. It was just, I what I did in the end is I, on the second layer, I actually mixed a colour using the two and put that in the middle. So I used three colours because it was just so much easier because the pigment in that orange in Bahama Mama is so intense. So, so, so strong. Um, so I faffed about with it for a bit. I wasn't too fussed on this. Um, la layer on this coat because I'm going to go over it again and then I'm going to actually cover the whole nail in crystals so I wasn't overly fussed but I still wanted it half decent and it was just a bit more work than I'd anticipated but once I figured out it was much easier just to do a, like a try ombre so Bahama Mama on the left a mixture of the two in the middle and then Limoncello on the right then I was fine with it then I was fine Once that second layer is done, uh, which my camera didn't film because it overheated, such fun. I'm going to go in with a really thin layer of Build Here in a Bottle. Really thin layer. And then I'm actually going to go before curing, do not cure it yet. I'm going to go over it again with a float, a bit of top coat over the top, no wipe top coat. And the reason is because I'm going to cover this nail in um, our fairy drops in the shade Soft Sparkle. So there they are. Basically, they're like Crystal Pixie. We just didn't want to use the same name because why would you? Um, so these are our fairy drops. I'm going to sprinkle them all over like beautiful, magical goodness. Oh, they're so sexy. I love those things. Okay, so I'm just going to use my gloves to tap in the edges and make sure that they're not kind of, because you lose the shape. If you let them slide down the edge, you will lose the shape of your nail. One thing I learned, um, no, no, not not the only thing I learned, but when I when I trained at Swarovski, um, it was like little tricks like this, and there's so many more. Which you know, I'm not going to put everything out on YouTube as free content because then my students would, what's the point in being a student? People think you can learn everything from YouTube, but you can't. There is so much that we miss out purposely just for students. Here you go, this is it cured, it's stunning, it's going now. Now we're gonna put it to one side and we're gonna work on the next nail. This is having a layer of velvet matte top coat from Madame Glam. Get that in the lamp, bosh. And we're gonna cr crack on and do a 3D design on this nail. I'm just gonna use a centerpiece of a flower. I'm gonna use one of the big SS mm, 12 or 16 from the new mix. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the effect on these crystals. It is so unique, so stunning. And then I'm going to go ahead and build up a 3D flower on this nail. So I'll let you watch.
Bathing in the light that you share You're like the sun Who am I to think how would it be If you were mine I've been walking with my shades on for so long I can't seem to get them back on Cause ooh, how I fell in love Couldn't see it coming best in my stereo I can feel it coming, you on my radio All I'm hearing is a song I'm just going to add a smidge of colour and detail in there, nothing major, quite gentle and I'll use my gloves because they're so handy to um, kind of diffuse the colour so it's not too intense. Okie dokie, I'm now going to use green highlighter and limoncello on the final nail. I'll show you what I did. I did a few swirls around that flower and added some more crystals. I just felt like it needed something else. So I'm going to do the opposite of the first nail now. Do you, if you remember that first nail swooped from left to right, this one's going from right to left and then down the center. And we'll start off and build it up as we go. So we're doing limoncello in the right coming down, no sorry, <laughs> green highlighter in the right coming down and limoncello coming down the center. And then we'll get the two to blend. Again, slightly di more difficult to blend, but nothing major. We're diffusing that anyway with the glitter. So we're gonna do it exactly the same as we did on the first nail.
let my emotions flow. But for now, I treat it and delete it. Just knowing you and read it before we get too far away. I need to clear my mind. I'd rather just. that's our next fruity slushy nail so i'm going to show you the full set i really really hope you've liked it as always links to courses and products will be in the description box that's it in natural light so it's very beautiful sparkly and glowy in natural light and then i'll show you it under artificial light there we go absolutely gorgeous i really hope you like this um yeah check out everything in the description box and i'll see you in my next video totally bye